so what I've done now is I've just gone on to create a new table still in the same lot so you create a new table and it offers you this table and then it asks you to save it because I've gone into design view my view is into design view ready to start designing and that's basically it so I'm going to create a new table I'm going to call it products and I'm going to enter three field names and my product number which is going to be obviously this one is going to be my primary key so it has its own unique number auto whatever next and I'm just going to put my product name and my product price so all I've done is I've put product name text I'll give it 40 characters for my name and I've selected product price next one currency as what my data type is going to be so I'm just going to save it and then what I'm going to do now is create a form to put in these exact fields so then I'll go to create I want a form we'll have the form wizard and now it's going to offer me which table look I want to uh, link it to I've got two tables now so I can select one if I wanted to we'll have all them in there select next same one columnia columnia or whatever modify the forms design I'm just going to design my form again and then uh, we'll get back onto it ok what I've done is I've just put in 10 different products into my product form and there they are looking in my product table and all I did was input them through the form and they're all there saved in the table so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import um, 10 at least 10 people into my customer form which then will go into my customer table so we've got something to do all our um, queries with